D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to the season premiere of season three of Season Wolf three! Sandwich, the series where I let... I hope to God it goes better than whatever the f*** we watched for that candy cane sandwich, I swear to God. ...decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm using these translucent pink glitter dice that were sent in by a fan. Thanks. First up, let's roll for bread. One, strawberry swirl. This delicious bread with chunks of strawberries baked right in is great for breakfast. Let's see how it works for a sandwich. Next up, let's roll for our main. Five, salami. All right, I love well, salami. Got sweet I'm, and tart from the I'm bread. A, I'm a big salami enjoyer. I like pepperoni and salami. Now we're gonna add some salty to the mix. All right, let's roll for cheese. One, no cheese. Mm. Oh man, I really wanted some cheese with this strawberry bread so I could have a ratatouille sandwich. All right, well, up next is the double roughage roll. Double 11s. None twice. Holy. I don't think that's ever happened before. All right. No veggies on this one. Well, let's add a little bit of wild magic. Seven rose petals. Well, it's definitely wild. And I guess we couldn't get away with not adding any vegetation to this thing. It'll be interesting to see what sauce we land on because that's going to really impact whether we taste these rose petals that much or not. Let's hope for the best. All right, and last but not least, we've got the D20 sauce roll. Three, barbecue onion relish. I've got this caramelized barbecue onion relish, which does have a pretty strong onion flavor, but also, because it's caramelized, is sweet. So I think that's gonna pair okay with the strawberry bread. And yeah, but what about the flower I'm thinking petals? that the onion's gonna overpower the rose petals. So we'll probably just end up with a oniony, salty, salami sandwich. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. I don't know and let's this get it one. cut in half. I was kind of on board until the rose petals. And let's take a look at that cross section. Small All sandwich. Right. No cheese or roughage today. That's definitely a first for roll for sandwich. Let's see how it tastes. Okay. Yeah, my predictions were pretty accurate. I'm not really getting much rose petal at all. That onion relish is what pretty tasty. What does a rose petal the, taste like? The base of it kind of reminds me of Branston pickle a little bit without obviously the pickled vegetables. The onion relish really takes over, so I don't even like really rose? taste the strawberry nice. bread that much either. I'd have to say it's not a bad start to the season. I think I'm going to go with a 7.1, and I'm going to call it the glass onion. You guys are real funny. Just a reminder, I'll be the media guest of honor at Confusion in Novi, Michigan in a few weeks. So get your tickets now if you want to catch me there. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. Long. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'll be using these heat-activated color-changing dice that were sent to me by a viewer. Thanks. First up, let's roll for bread. Four freezer ends. Gonna use up the last of this nine grain seeded bread that I've got in the freezer. All right, let's roll for main. Okay. Two, pork rillette. Rillette is a pate made by submerging pork in fat and then slow cooking it for a long time. It's supposed to look like that. This will be my first time trying it. Upon opening the can, it smells kind of like spam. The texture is much less creamy than I expected. And honestly, that's what worries me the most about this so far. We'll give it the old college try, though, and hopefully be pleasantly surprised. I don't Next know about up, that one. for cheese. One, no cheese. Again. That's what tough. is this, some kind of cheese curse? I want cheese, dang it. Well, That's next tough. up is roughage. That's six bell pepper and four broccoli. Ooh. I've got some leftover steamed broccoli florets that I'm going to use up. I don't mind broccoli on its own. Ooh. Not sure how it's going to go here. Ooh. I've got a red bell pepper today, so we'll add just a touch of sweetness and a good crunch to this sandwich. Without any cheese, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed with this combination of vegetables. Something a little more flavorful, maybe pickled, would have helped make this more interesting. Next okay. up, let's roll wild magic. Wild magic. Eight, dried cilantro. Ooh. Cilantro's fine. I definitely don't have the soap gene like some people do. 
but I don't think it's gonna help this sandwich. Oh, and la you guys have never heard of that before. Uh, to some people, it depends on what your genes are like. Some people, when you taste cilantro, it tastes like soap. And to some people, it doesn't. Last but not least, we have the D20 sauce roll. Five, QB mayo. All right, mayo's not a bad roll. It shouldn't clash at least, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right. Oh, that, All right. I ain't gonna lie. That bite right there is gonna be tough. That's gonna be a tough bite right there. All right. All right. Well, our second episode in a row of no cheese. Eating a broccoli I hope this sandwich. Isn't a bad omen for 2023. Let's give this a taste. So, start on the other side, smart man. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of bland, and the texture is probably the worst part about it. When I think of pate, I think of like smooth, and this was more fibrous in a way. I don't know. Fibrous. I'm not digging it. Couple that with the boring vegetables, and this one is not my favorite, but I mean, it didn't make me want to puke. So I'm gonna give this a straight five, and I'm gonna call it the ennui. That's that pretty does high. It for this Monday roll for sandwich. Come is back that, Wednesday. Is that the standard the now? One. Is that this? Is that this ranking standard? If it's a middle ground, like you don't like it, but it didn't make you puke, it's a five. That's interesting. Next. Good afternoon, D and D TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm using these clear orange and purple glitter dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. First up, let's roll for bread. Four, freezer ends. I've got about half a loaf of cinnamon raisin bread left in the freezer. Gonna use a few slices of that and make a little room. Next up, let's roll for our main. Okay, I like cinnamon raisin actually. Although I don't have it that often. Six, tuna. Ooh. Got sweet and spicy tuna today. I've Is this one better? You guys said the ranch one's dog but what about what about the sweet and spicy? Is that better? Working my way through my variety oh. pack of flavors. Figured this would be a good option to go on the sweet cinnamon. Why, why I look like that? Raisin bread. Hopefully you get some other good things to go with it. It's good. Is it good because it's spicy? Because then you, I just load my own spices under with them. All right, next up, let's roll cheese. Let's break that cheese curse. What? Again? Rolled. One, no cheese. This is definitely some kind of record, the worst type of record to be setting. Uh, all right, well, next up, let's roll for roughage. Got five cucumber and 10 pickles. All right, well, the cucumber will be a nice crunchy balance to the soft sandwich that we have so far. And I welcome the pickle as well. I Isn't, wait a minute, am I, am I f stupid? Aren't pickles just pickled cucumbers? usually add pickle when I make tuna salad. I think the vinegar and the dill pair really well. This isn't the first time I've had cucumber and pickle on the same sandwich on this series. And it's always kind of funny that I have pre-pickles and post-pickles. All right, let's hit it with some- Wait, he, wait, he actually made the same joke. Wait a minute, what? And it's always kind of funny that I have pre-pickles and post-pickles. All right, let's hit it with some wild magic. Nine, truffle salt. All right, don't mind a little extra salt. I think the savory truffle flavor might get a little lost here, but maybe not. All right, and last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. 19, mustard dill sauce. Well, this is a Swedish sauce often eaten with salmon, so tuna sandwich, probably be pretty good. Also, we've already got dill in the pickles and the sweet and spicy sauce on the tuna. I don't know why, but I well want to try well. it. Might be the perfect roll for this sandwich. I actually want to try it. Let's go ahead and get it closed up. I don't know why. Get our it doesn't look good, in to hold but it I'm, I'm in. And let's get it cut in half. Love a good sauce. Same. Now let's take a look at that cross section. Sauce, sauce, in my opinion, can make and break any food. All right. Well, despite still being under that dang cheese curse, I think this one has shaped up okay. Let's... Oh, let's give it a taste. All right. This melds pretty well. The sweet and spicy marinade and the dill like an sauce complement each other without clashing. And the cinnamon raisin bread is hearty, but doesn't at all seem out of place. It's not the best sandwich I've ever had, but it's definitely earned an 8.3. And I'm going to call it sweet and spicy tuna sweeted. That's all for today.
I'll see you again on Friday. Peace. I'm, all, I'm I am of the camp that you can make basically anything edible if you just put enough spice on it. So honestly, maybe that's why the tuna is good afternoon, Dean. Pretty good. The TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm going to be using these white and yellow buttered popcorn dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. First up, cool. let's roll for bread. Okay, maybe it's just me. I don't like this tower. I don't know why. It's just like, you put it in here and it just slides out. I like the one where it goes bing, 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 bong, bing, bong. I like hearing the noises. Six, Japanese milk bread. Still working my way through this loaf of shokopan that I picked up at White Wolf Bakery in Clawson, Michigan. Next up, let's roll for Maine. Nani? Uh, oh no! Squid. I've got this can oh, of jumbo squid no. and marinade sauce. Oh, it. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh no! Why would you Fried put that on one there? Thing. I enjoy it quite a bit, but these tinned seafoods just—I just don't have a good track record with them. It's All right, canned next up, squid. Let's for cheese. Three Jarlsberg spread. Hooray! The cheese curse is broken. What is that? Yay! This spread made of Jarlsberg cheese, mayo, and onions. Oh hell is delicious, no! But I don't think it's gonna help the squid. All right, let's roll for roughage. Oh oh hell! Oh hell! Nine no. banana peppers and twelve roll twice. All right, let's roll again for oh, that twelve. Oh f no! Yeah, one kale and six bell pepper. Yeah, because kale is exactly what I need. Oh right my now. god, my it's problems. getting worse! The bell pepper should add some crunch, I guess. That's definitely not a strong enough flavor to help here. Now, banana peppers, on the other hand, might actually be able to help a little bit. Stop the cat! That... A little bit of a stronger <sighs> flavor. We'll see. You can huff right, in the copium, dude. Wild magic. That is a 15 tahine. Salt, chili, lime, what's not to like? It'd be great on fried calamari, but here... Hey, hey, you know. guys got mad about me about my tahini on the on the jelly toast to give it to try what it tastes like? At least I didn't do this, okay? All right, last but not least, it's a D20 sauce roll. Beano's submarine dressing. So basically, oil, vinegar, and herbs. Based on how that marinade looked earlier, not sure we needed more oil, but that's what we got. Oh my Jesus and get our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's go ahead and get it cut in half. Ugh. Oh, it's crumbling. Let's take a look at that cross section. Okay, here we go. Well, the great cheese curse of 2023 is officially broken, but at what cost? Let's give it a taste, I guess. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, the texture, the texture's horrible. The vinegar from the peppers and the sauce we got and the tahini, they're really trying to pull this one higher, but it's a zero. And zero. I'm gonna call it the Gazora. Eat up, Earl, you deserve a good meal once in a while. That's it for me. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. That was vile. That was, act that was probably the worst one ever. I didn't think that last worst one could get worse, but it did.